All right, y'all. So a little while ago, we took a look at some footage of Land Rovers uh, going off-road in various scenarios and just seeing how they performed. Uh, and I was very impressed. It was pretty cool. What I was most impressed with was actually seeing some like stock, like Range Rover Sports, on pretty thin factory tires doing some work off-road, getting in some pretty treacherous situations, getting out of them. Lots of flex going on, finding traction. It was pretty cool. And uh, remember, I've off-roaded for years and years. It's really one of my all-time favorite hobbies. I don't do it so much lately just because of this phase of my life with other priorities right now. But it's always been one of my favorite things. And uh, in my experience around me in the U.S., uh, I don't really ever get to see... Uh, many Land Rovers off-road at all. I, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen one. Now, I'm told to look at more. Uh, so these couple videos, we're only going to look at a couple clips of. They're from Long Compilation, so they will be linked in the description down below. I highly encourage you to check them out in browser channels uh, because a short clip from this I've sent looks really cool. Uh, apparently, there's some flooded roads in the UK that can happen quite often, as we can see in this first uh, screenshot here and these are various cars mostly land rovers i believe who are should i say fording some deep water and that was the one thing off-roading i absolutely hated i did not like going in water water can make a real big tough truck uh wince in pain real quick <laughs> so let's see how this goes thank you for the suggestion remember these have been linked down below let's take a look at a little bit of this Oh, holy smokes, they weren't kidding. This water's up past this guy's knees. This beamer is soaked. And indeed, we do have a Land Rover. I believe that's the Defender, right? Because I'm very new to these. Thing looks awesome, by the way. He's going to tow it out. Or pull it out, whatever. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, ooh. Okay, badass. That thing's a diesel, right? That's why the black smoke. Although, I have to say, that was making me scared. That was He went in a little fast. The nose is literally submerged right now. Not a good feeling. You can hear it. You can hear the... You can hear it bogging down. Jeez. Oh my god, look at the white smoke. Dude, he did get the engine base soaked, man. Oh! <gasps> Oh, come on, man. I imagine Land Rovers can afford some good uh, good amount of water, but dude, can't be throwing it in there nose first. Any vehicle might have trouble then. What's that, a uh, Toyota? Pulling out that Beamer now? Okay, there's, oh, is this the same one? Oh my God, at least they're going a little slower. Still just slightly faster than I would like. But that was better than the first time splashing it everywhere. Okay, we have another one back there. Damn. These freaking Land Rovers are awesome, dude. And we have a Kia. Not a big fan of that. Let's see how it does, though. Uh-oh. Keep going. Don't stop. Yeah, don't stop. Can't be that deep, right? I agree with that bystander. Don't want to be stopping. Don't stop, mate. Nah. No. Yeah, you're committed. Just let her ride. Ooh, it is deep. Oh. Well, I don't know if I would have passed the guy in water. <laughs> Kind of a dick move a little bit, but uh, hey, look at he can't even steer. Oh my god, this is crazy, dude. Where's he going? Where the hell's that lead to? Holy shit! The Kia did stop. To be fair, they're probably overwhelmed. Like, what's this guy doing behind me? God, that thing is cool. Cool, cool vehicle, goofy driver, in my opinion, especially splashing the guy. Come on now. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Jeez. I love how this guy's got an open can of pop in his uh, pocket. Gotta love it. 
Oh my god, he's doing circles. What's he doing to this guy? What the hell is this? Call me crazy. That guy's an asshole, dude. Jeez. Oh, oh, ooh, something broke. What a nightmare. How freaking cool, though. You guys are lucky in the UK, man. This Kia SUV. Look at inside. It's a stick shift. I just love how everything, like even random SUVs and just you name it, everything comes with a manual there. I know there's automatics too, but you can get a manual. Some cars here, actually most cars nowadays, you can't even get a manual. And SUVs are almost always automatics here. I'm a, one of the rare exceptions. I do have a small SUV that is a manual here in the U.S., but that's rare. Okay, let's see the damage in the Kia. Oh, man. Oh, that's rough. It's a doggo safe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Dude. That's too fast. Holy shit, they got water on the roof. <laughs> god, that thing does sound badass. I'm becoming, I'm becoming a fan of these, man. I, I gotta say, they're pretty freaking awesome. But dude, I would not be driving in there that fast. Look at the water. Holy smokes. That's too much. And this poor guy, holy shit. Dude, no. Now everything's squeaking. Dude, he might have, did it stop running? Yeah, you can't be going in there that fast. Even if you're in a badass Land Rover. This one's a cool color. Look at this. Hey. We got the first guy with the right approach. Look at that. They went in slow. I didn't even see that it shows how many feet. It's two feet deep. Holy crap. Um, yeah, they had the right idea. They went in real slow and then just kept a, just like a fast enough pace. It wasn't fast and it wasn't, they didn't stop either because that's bad. But they didn't fly in and cause, you know, a tsunami, right? And cause everything to go over the hood and the roof of the vehicle. They went in real smooth and just kept that pace and then got out. Look at that. Nothing went over the hood like that. That's too fast, in my opinion. And then you get problems. You don't want water getting in all your seals and your differentials up in the transmission. Oh, man, you don't want any of that. And then, of course, the engine bay. Come on. We don't want wires and intakes getting soaked. Another one. While it's raining. Oh, man. I tell you what, this is really interesting that this is such like a... Um, obviously a trafficked area where there's constant traffic that gets flooded like that. That's very uh, fascinating, quite frankly, weird, right? I mean, that I don't know if this is like a common thing or what. Um, so you guys will definitely have to tell me in the comments, you know, if you know uh, of many spots like this. I'm assuming some people just can't, you know, forward through this, right? <laughs> if you're in like a small hatchback, I don't think, uh, you know, you're going to be able to get through that or people might not want to. So, I suppose they just have to find another way. Yeah, that was very interesting. I like different videos like that. It wasn't quite off-roading, was it? Because we're literally on the road. <laughs> uh, getting floods is not a fun thing. And uh, obviously, if you're in a capable vehicle, like a Land Rover, you're going to be able to take it on, perhaps. But you do have to have the right approach as well. Um, as you saw, some of those guys didn't, you know, flying in there, you're still going to do damage, even if it's an awesome vehicle. What do you guys think? Am I being too critical here? I mean, I think that guy we saw towards the end that went in really slow and just had that brisk pace, right? And, and kind of just floated through there real smoothly. I think that's the best way to do it. If you're going to cross through there. Cause yeah, back in my off-roading with a really expensive truck, I used to have, 
it scared the crap out of me when I went in too fast one time and it all came over the hood on this huge lifted truck. I'm like, how is the water coming up that high? That's not good. And, you know, you just get that sinking feeling. We see the steam and the smoke coming out everywhere. It's like, uh uh-oh, we're soaked, right? It's not a good feeling. So, yeah, I cannot wait to see the comments on this. And, uh, of course, keep up your awesome suggestions as well. So stay tuned. I appreciate you watching. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all, catch you later.